Hello everyone and welcome to Demi Dato, a monster dating game show. So, this is another game that's featured on this year's Queer Halloween Stories Bundle. And if you guys do want to get this game alongside over a hundred amazing games, books, and audio dramas, the link to that is in the description alongside with the link to the game. It's all for $60 and honestly saying like, I feel like it's a massive steal considering like you get a chance to have a whole bunch of these amazing games and you also get a chance to support a bunch of indie creators, which, you know, it's uh, my jam. But anyway, let's get right into it, shall we? Let's click here to start the show. Why not? And just because I can walk through the walls doesn't mean it's okay to lock me in my dressing room. The first time I was willing to believe it was an accident, but... I'm... Um, what? Oh, very funny. I haven't been alive since... Oh, I'm live! Oh! D ladies and gentlemen, boys and ghouls, welcome to another exciting episode of Demi Dato. I'm your host, Paul T. Geist. We have a gorgeous lineup of contestants for you tonight from the Demure Kirin. Hello, everyone. And over there, we have Benji, our ferocious dragon. Rah! Yes, yes, very ferocious. A bunch of charmers, indeed. But only one lucky monster will win the affections of the one, the only... Okay, listen, kid, I lost my notes. What's your name again? My name, it's Lion, and I go with they, them pronouns. Sure, my name's Lion, and my pronouns are they, them. The one, the only, Lion! Check out their hot, androgynous body and a stunning taste in... Paja hey, hey, I don't, I barely go out these days, okay? Like, the only times I go out is literally just get food and to touch grass. Like, whenever the occasional comment comes in and asks me to do that. Good reminder, by the way. Thank you very much, uh, dear Anonymous. Anyway, look, I'm sorry, but you haven't given me much to work with here. What do you mean? The hair, the outfit, it's hard to pinpoint anything distinctive about you. I thought I was supposed to dress like that. They're not pajama pants, they're leggings. Fine, whatever. Give it up for the pantsless wonder, everybody. <laughs> oh my god. I, it, it's just so funny thinking that, like, I'm just standing out here with everything dangling out. God. <laughs> now, for those of you who have been living in a cave or something and haven't seen the show before. Excuse me, but I live in a cave and it's very nice in there. And I do have a TV. <sighs> okay, if you've been living in the middle of a jungle... Hey! If you've been living in the previous century... I think that one might apply to Dimitri. You know what I mean! If you've been out of touch with pop culture... You could have just said that directly. I hate my job, I hate my job, I hate my job! <sighs> Here's how the show works. Our stars here will have the several will have several opportunities throughout the night to impress and get to know our 12 contestants and find out which one of them is their dream date. But they're not the only ones who have to make a decision. If one of our contestants turn off their light, that means they've decided that Lion is not the one for them and they'll be returning next week to try again. Now, let's get dating. Lion, are you ready to start searching for your soulmate? Uh, yeah, I guess. Then let's start with a big question. A very important question. The question that might break some hearts before Cupid even gets a chance to intervene. I mean, I'd rather he didn't intervene at all, but sometimes he insists on it. And apparently the producers can't just ban him from the building. Anyway, without further ado... What are you looking for? This is kind of overdramatic. In a relationship! Oh, God. A partner with an exciting life and adventure with. Settle down with a steady partner. Someone to share my niche hobbies. You know what? You know, that, that, that sounds great. I mean, exciting life and adventures with. I've, I've had plenty of my own adventures. I would love to, like... I like the idea of settling down, but sharing... Sharing like hobbies and like, you know, like weird little moments together. I think that's great. So let's go with that. What am I looking for in a relationship? Well, someone to share my hobbies with would be cool. I'd like, I'd like to spend those long summer nights playing games together. 
maybe binge watch a whole season of anime. Anime, you say? Yeah, I try to keep up to date with the seasonal releases, but I'm a huge fan of Sailor Earth, Pixie Tail, and have been watching Dragon Sphere Z since I was a kid. Did they just say dragon? Not you, Benji. It's just a show. It's Ben, not Benji. Whatever. Guys, excuse me. Over here, Nia. It looks like we have a question from one of our contestants. I must say I'm not surprised. Mako here calls herself our resident anime expert. I keep telling you, it's otaku, Nia. <laughs> Who calls themselves an otaku? She also happens to be a professional cosplayer, having won the Underworld Cosplay Competition two years in a row. According to the producers, I have to introduce you with that spiel every time because the Underworld Cosplay Committee is sponsoring us or something. You're lucky, Nya. Whatever. Mako, what did you want to ask? Hi, Nya. Well, for some, Nya, I totally love Pixie Tail, and I was just wondering, what's your OTP, Nya? Oh, what? What's an OTP? Is this something about tea? Oh, yes, the Splendoriferous Smell TP. I know all about the OTPs. My favorite is the musical The Tiger King, although I am also partial to the works of. And what in the world are you talking about? The outstanding theatrical plays, of course. Lion Singh, the theater's the jam, right? Uh, no, I think they're talking about TV shows. You yeah, have heard of that stuff, right? Of course I have, daddy -o. But for the viewers at home, why don't you tell me what you think OTP means? I saw it on Fangler once. An OTP is when you think two characters will be great together, and you just want them to bone down already. It means one true pairing. I like Arian. He, he seems cool. Oh, I see. I get it. That was definitely my next guess. Uh, Mako, to answer your question, I think my Pixie Tail OTP would definitely have to be Summer and Ice. They might be rivals, but at the end of the day, they've got each other's backs and are always there for one another. Me too! I shipped them so hard! Ship? Might be best not to ask. Y yes, the Isomer ship is so good, yeah? And the fanfiction scene for them is really good too. Personally, I think that Ice is the, is the Seme and Summer is the Uke. But I've seen fanfics where they both took on the Seke role instead and wow, it blew my mind, yeah? Yeah, me too. I've seen a lot of Dojin for it on... Yeah? It looks, it looks like a couple of contestants have already turned their lights off. What a shame. Oh... Dimitri, could you tell us why you're no longer interested? This is just way too many new words for me. Seme, uke, fanfics. I can't keep up with Alliance, Jibba Jabba. You seem very cool, but I just don't think we'll jive. We can't even have a normal convo, you feel me, bro? Anyone else seen the hypocrisy here? No? I must agree with Dimitri. This language is much too foreign for me. Oh! Oh, so I'm too much for you, eh, bunny chick? But, but the time, 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 whatever your name is, you think I'm too much for you? Well, we could have gotten on like rabbits, but you know, like, that's your, that's your call. Yeah, I'm sorry, but me too. What? N not you too? I, I see. Sorry, but no one in my family really watches those sort of show. No, not Janren. Why would I... Why would I spend all my time watching TV? When I could be finding out... When I could be out finding treasures? Oh, what? You guys just can't appreciate the otaku lifestyle, yeah? There is a lot of modern language being used, so I'm not surprised that Demi is having trouble keeping up. Are you calling me dumb, Dora, you chiseling chump? Come on, let's, act, let's be mature and act your ages, whatever they happen to be. Why do I always have to play babysitter? Well, Lion, seems like you scared off some contestants with your fancy boat-related words. Is there anything you'd like to say in response? 
And I'm not ashamed of what I'm into. So screw you guys. Like, I get to have my hyperfixation and a hot bow. Or like, I, I don't know what, what's a gender neutral term. Like, frick. Ah. It's unfortunate that they don't like it. But I guess they just weren't the right ones for me. That's more mature than I expected. What? Guys, to no, no, not the Amazonian mommy. No. There goes another one. You can't catch a break tonight, Lion. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lion. You seem like a nice person and all. And it's great that you get so excited about things that you like. It sounds like your pride gets in the way of you trying new things and talking to new people. Again, hypocrisy with the pride thing? Is anyone else hearing this? I like adventuring and discovering interesting stuff. Anyway, so I think I'd get bored too quickly if we were together. I see. Thanks for the feedback, I guess. Is she saying that lion is bo- Oh my god, can, can, that, 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 that's what I want. That is what I want. I'll do anything for the- Are you a fox boy? I, I guess. Ugh. Shh, Finn, I don't think so. Ugh, that's so rude. I love Finn. Okay, really? You're calling out another contestant for being rude? No! I'm sorry, I don't really watch TV at all. I'm not sure we have enough in common to be together. Arian, you were on my side! You were on my side! Arian! You were the cool one! You were the one cool dude! Uh, yeah, I have better things to do than watch television. Like B on television. Hello out there. Please, Arian, you know the producers hate it when you stare directly into the camera like that. You think we're running a game show with all these buzzers and lights going off? You're saying this isn't a game show, Nia? No, I'm... You know what? Never mind. That's eight lights out, and we've only just started the show. Sucks to be you, lion. Gee, thanks. Thankfully for you, it's almost time for our next segment. Before we do that... Get to get one of the cameras to do a lap in the studio and visit our four remaining suitors. Otherwise, we'll keep getting calls that the people at home have no idea what's going on. My care factor about that is pretty low, honestly, but whatever. Here I am, yeah? Yawn. Hello, yes, both of our lights are still on as well. Those are the four faces you'll have to impress in our next segment. Lion, why don't we get back on fighting... Why don't we get back on track to finding your OTP and ship you along with one of our lovely contestants? Dude, even I'm embarrassed by you, Nya. Listen, I'm a host, not a stand-up comedian, okay? Our next segment is one that I wish we could replace with literally anything else, but apparently it's a fan favorite. Prepare yourself, fairies and gentle ghosts. We're moving on to the talent show. This better be good. Oh, boy. In case there's anyone at home that has been decomposing under a rock for the past couple of centuries, every guest on our show has the opportunity to showcase a talent that they have. The talent can be literally anything, as long as they're good at it. Or even just mildly okay. Please, I can't stand to listen to an art tone depth performance of Let it blow! Don't the let it what? So, Lion, what amazing skill are you going to show us tonight? What? A perfect dance going DDR. I'm going to draw some fan art. I'm going to show how everyone how I get to cosplay. A life-size plushie. Ah, wait, this is going to narrow down my choices even further. Ah, I, okay, I can't make plushies. I can't do fan art. I suck at DDR. I guess I'll get to cosplay. Like, literally, like, the only cosplay I've ever done are mostly, like, Casual or closet cosplays like holy frick. I'll show you how it cheats the fabric of my very self for a cosplay. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears going to bring a fictional character to life, you know? Tears. Really? Oh, yeah, mostly I cry out of exhaustion. Sometimes it takes hours just to finish the makeup, especially when there's body paint involved. Yeah, I hear ya. I cosplayed as Katmora from Guardians of the Universe for a convention last year. It took me two hours to cover myself in body paint, and five days later, I was still washing off green and showering, yeah? That must have been hell washing the paint out of your fur. 
She also got paint all over the house. Yeah, I apologize for that, Tomoe. That's nothing. There isn't a single thing in my house that hasn't been covered in paint, glue, or makeup. Usually it's all three. Well, please try not to make a mess here tonight. Ghost knows I'll be the one blamed for it, and our cleanup crew have enough on their hands, with Mino splashing water everywhere and Tabitha leaving flower petals wherever she walks. I'm sorry. Not your fault. You not your fault you leave joy and nice smells everywhere you go, Nya. And also, I don't care what the producers approve or what you wrote on the entry form. We don't have two hours to prepare for your talent, so you'll need to make it speedy. Oh, I can help, Nya. Who are you cosplaying? Halura Akati. Oh my, Nya, what a coincidence. I have a Meodoka Katami cosplay backstage. Come on, we'll get to it right now. All right. This cosplay talent isn't very entertaining since it's happening where nobody can see it. We can still hear you. Just hold for suspense, please. We don't have time for suspense. Do they expect us to sit around and do nothing? Well, instead of filming an empty stage for a whole minutes of dead air, let's talk to some of our contenders, shall we? Let's start with you, Tomoe. What do you have to say about Lion's hobby? I suppose you would be used to it since your sister's a pro. Yeah, whatever makes them both happy. I'm fine with it. That's it. We have dead air to fill, Tomoe. Please give something to work with here. Nah. I hate my job. Mako, can you do my zipper? Sure, Nya. Oh, we can hear them from out here somehow. Good job, audio guy. Oh no, I forgot to bring facelift tape. Fear not, Nya. I have some back here as well. Wow, you have everything. I guess someone turned their microphones back on. We could hear you back there, you know. Please don't make any incriminating noises. What the heck is facelift tape? You're asking the wrong ghost. I also have... I also have glue for your eyebrows, Nyan. Thank you. Glue for your eyebrows? <laughs> Thomas, Thomas, I look so concerned. Oh my god. I guess we're having an offstage interview now. Does it seem like program is supposed to work like this? Oh, we can hear you from back here now. Thanks, sound guy. I'm putting glue on Lion's eyebrows right now. The glue helps conceal my natural eyebrows. There's a layer of glue to flatten the hairs down. Uh, then when it's dry, I cover it with concealer and foundation. This makes it easier for me to draw in eyebrows and match the character. That actually sounds really painful. Why would you do that to your face? Benji, you left! Your light is already off, Benji. Must you interrupt? It's Ben, actually. Screw off! You broke my heart! And I'm genuinely concerned. I want to try and understand why Lion goes through all this pain and effort. It's alright, guys. I don't mind explaining. Cosplay isn't for everyone. If you're not interested in dressing up, then I won't try to convince you. But in another way, cosplay really is for everyone. Whether you're male, female, or something between or outside. If you have a big body or petite one, if there's a character out there that you connect with and you want to represent them in your own way, then cosplay is for you. I do all this because I love the characters. I want the rest of the world to know how much I love them. When there's something that you deeply and genuinely love, don't you want to spend as much time as possible doing it? Wouldn't you also put in time and effort? I want to change myself to become better, or even the very best that I can possibly be. Oh, that was... Really deep. Did I? Did I? Please tell me. Did, did I just like impress Finn? Please tell me I impressed Finn. I need Finn in my life. I couldn't tell if Lion was still talking about cosplay or about a lover by the end of that speech. Well, even I'm in awe of that passionate display of dedication. Even if it was made by someone I can't even see. Yeah, that's the power of cosplay. Haha. <laughs> Anyway, Nya, we are officially done! It's like they've actually transformed into real magical girls. I guess, I mean, her face has a white patch now, but is it really that different? They aren't even wearing different clothes. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, it's chill. It's chill. It's amazing what little, uh, well, a lot of makeup can do. Thank you so much for helping me get ready, Mako. No problem, Nya. Hey, after this, we should enter the Underworld Cosplay Summit. What are you saying, yeah? That sounds awesome. Before that, we need to continue on with the show. We need you two to go backstage and change out your co- I put in all this effort!
alert! We just got into them, yeah? I've been told we don't have the budget for you to have multiple outfits. No, I don't know why that makes a difference when you brought them yourselves and you're already wearing them. Ask the producers. Now get going. That's the end of our talent show section. Finally. Demi Data will be back after word from our sponsor. Ghoul 2 Blend, at free videos, 99% guarantee of no supernatural possession, watch offline. Welcome back to Demi Dato. All right, everyone, it's time to move on to the next part of the show. Enough about lying already. I think we should find out more about our remaining love interests and their friends and family. Who would like to start us off? Me, me, yeah. Oh, calm down, Marco. I should have seen that coming. Go ahead then, you can start us off, Marco. Yeah, in case you haven't already figured it out, Tomoe and I are twins, yeah? Hi. I'm the older sibling, of course, and I just love spending time with Tomoe, yeah? I can't help but feel you might not feel the same way, Tomoe. It doesn't matter to me if we hang out or not. What? Oh, don't lie. You love hanging out with me, yeah? Also, I guess you've never made it to a convention with me. I'm more of a house cat. Yeah. So that's why you always come over to my room and play my plushies, nya? Yeah? I could have told you that. I don't I don't think he's coming to visit you, Marco. Yeah, of course he is. Right, Tomoe? At least Sis and I have someone who visits often. Do you even have any friends, Finn? Yeah. <sighs> Of course I do. Just recently, I visited a friend, and we played a little game where I would ring her doorbell, then hide the bushes. When she answered her door, she would see no one's there, and I and go back inside. Then I would go and ring it again. Friends are heaps of fun. Wait, is that why my doorbell was ringing so much yesterday? Yeah, wasn't it fun? Almost as fun as the time you stepped on my hose while I was watering my flowers so that the water stopped coming out. When I turned to face the nozzle, you moved, and water splashed right into my face. Finn. That's boring, yeah? Ugh, it was a hot day. She needed to cool down. Tabitha, you have other friends, right? Not really. I don't go out that often, so I don't meet a lot of people. But I have strong bonds with my roots. Do you mean your plants, yeah? She's talking about her family. Better both. But I do love my family. I still live in the house I grew up in. There were a lot of us when I was growing up, eight to be precise. But now it's only me. And on some weekends, Finicky is there too. You don't have any other friends, do you, Finn? Ah, Tabby's easily worth at least eight other friends. My God, why is Finn so sweet? I mean, he's mean, but he's so sweet. I need Finn in my life, Frick. He acts tough, but he's actually a sweet guy. I, no, I'm not. <laughs> For my birthday, he even got me an expensive bottle of red wine. Boy, you treat your friends really well, don't you? Why red wine? Because it's better than white wine. It's red. Duh. I miss a nice guy, Finn. Already. I do enjoy a glass of wine from time to time. Yeah. Let me guess. Finn buys you wine as a gift, but he ends up drinking most of it. Am I right, Nya? <laughs> if you want to know the truth, Finicky is actually bad with Alka. Damn it, you better stop talking right now if you want to keep this friendship alive. Not to mention keeping yourself alive too. Now, now, Finn, don't forget who you're talking to. Besides, you're being very impolite. Perhaps we'll gossip another time, Mako. No, no other time. Guys, hurry up and move the show along. Don't tell me how to do my job. Trust me. No amount of self-hatred or utter boredom could make me less amazing at what I do. He's almost as considered as you, Finn, yeah? On that note, it's over to you, Lion. What do you normally do with yourself when you have time to spare? Ah, oh, I prefer to stay over relaxed. I do go out from time to... Both of these are true. Both, for th both of these are true. Ooh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do go out from time to time, so, uh... Yeah, yeah, let's let's go with that. I can't stay cooped up inside for too long. 
there's so much out there to do. Even just this month, I have heaps of conventions and dancing competitions to go to. Ooh, ooh, which convention are you? Oi, take me to one of those dancing competitions. Finn is into dancing? Stop interrupting me, Nya. I want to see some new moves and different dance styles. Some conventions have Dato Dato resolution competitions as well as free play, so I'd be happy to show everyone. There are also claw machines and some plushy toys to be won. Sounds like fun, right, Tomei? Yeah? It's not like I want to win the plushie or anything, but if everyone else is going, then I guess I can tag along. Are you attending any conventions in Centauria this year, Lion? I haven't made any plans uh, to yet. Why? Yeah, because if you decide to, we can meet up and cosplay together. I can even show you around and take you to all the good poutine places, yeah? Oh, looks like Tabitha has lost interest in our guest tonight. Where did the lion go wrong? I mentioned this before, but I don't really go out very often. The idea of going to a crowded place like a convention or a competition seems quite overwhelming. I'm not sure I'd cope very well. My apologies, Lion, but I'm less of a centerpiece bouquet and more of a wallflower. Bad luck, Lion. There goes another failed romance. Speaking of failed romances, let's move on to our next segment, learning about contestants' past relationships. I think this is my personal favorite part of the show. Some of you have very interesting backstories. Why don't you start us off, Mako? Yeah, I'd love to. I'm all about love and friendship, Nya. Yeah? Hmm, let's see, Nya. Yeah? I'm very open-minded. I've dated all sorts of Nekos, as well as mermaids, vampires. I even once dated werewolf, Nya. Yeah? Needless to say, it didn't work out. He was barking mad, Nya. Yeah? <laughs> Woof! So you'll date just about anyone? Nya, yeah, you're giving everyone the wrong impression of me, Geisty. Of course I have standards, Nia. I'm only interested in people that I get along with, you know? People who have similar interests and hobbies, Nia. I can't be in a relationship with someone unless we have a connection, Nia. And not just a physical connection, I need something emotional way more, Nia. I started off as friends with most of my partners, Nia. So it was easy to go back to just being friends after we broke up. You're friends with all your exes? Yep, Nia. In fact, some, some of the friends that I cosplay with are also my exes, Nia. And what about you, Tomoe? I've heard that twins can be complete opposites when it comes to romance. Uh, I've never been in a relationship before, so I guess so. So your dating life is catastrophic? Really, guys? At least left him a pause for laughter. Hey, Lion, I'm pretty good at this. In fact, you're too good. Stop stealing my host thunder. Ugh. Anyway, it's it's not like I couldn't have gotten a partner if I didn't try. I've just never found anyone that I was interested in. Until now I get- Yeah, he's so cute! Wait, wait, wait is Tomoya he or she? I have no idea. They are so cute! What was the last part? Nothing. Go bug someone else already, Nia. He's- uh, th they're straight up a, a Sunday god. Oi, what about me? I was saving the best for last. All right, Finn, tell us about your past relationships. How many hearts have you broken over the decades? You might not guess it, but I've had the occasional foxy suitor chasing after me from time to time. He must be pretty popular. Please don't be fooled, Lion. He only has one ex who hasn't gotten over him yet, so they stalk him every now and then. Can I be the next ex? <laughs> I'm, I'm the, not the next ex. Can I be your next stalker, please? Please? Ugh, your light's already off, so stop interfering, Tabby. So how many hearts have you broken, Finn? Hey, now, ugh, they're the only ex I got, all right? I don't care what you all think, anyway. I'm actually really serious when it comes to relationships. I'm not, I'm, I'm looking for a soulmate, not just someone to fool around with like a dumb butt. I'm honestly surprised. Yeah, well, deal with it. I want to find someone that wants to go out and have fun. Someone that makes me excited to see them every day. But I also want someone that I can spend quality time relaxing with. Oh, wait, 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 that's Finn. But I also want someone that I can spend quality time relaxing with. 
Maybe even just watching the stars at night and enjoying each other's quiet company. I love Finn! A partner I could make chicken soup for when they get sick. Maybe they could mend my clothes when they get torn. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, wow. That was deeper than I expected from you, Finn. Me too, Nya. That's a lot to live up to. I can so so. N noted. Looks like contestants have had many different experiences when it comes to fighting that special someone. What about you, Lion? Do you have much experience in the dating game? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have plenty of experience with dating games. I've actually, I've actually dated lots of people. Both of these are true. Frick! Ah, oh, God! I, I won the round that gets me fit, but oh. Ooh, I have plenty of experience with dating me. Ah, God damn it, I've dated lots of people. Ah, plenty of experience with dating games. Really? That's a surprise. Tell us more. Well, I've played all sorts of dating games. Amarez, Otomes, Biel, and Yuri. You name it. I've probably played it. Wait, so when you say you have experience with dating games, you meant literal games about dating? No, of course. I should have known. Let us be the rat. Wait. Wait. I can always go back. I am going back because I need Finn in my... What if this is the round that gets me to Quinn? I mean, Finn, I will keep going. If this gets me it's like screwed with Finn, I don't care. <sighs> Isn't that what you meant? Not at all. Let's talk about real world experience, you know. Face to face, hand and paw holding, bodies and tentacles intertwining and a warm embrace. Isn't this show supposed to be G-rated? Ah, oh, no, none of that, guys. The idea of human or monster content doesn't really appeal to me that much right now, which is also true for me. Like, I mean, yeah, it's nice, but at the same time, like, I, like, I don't particularly like seek it out these days. So you have no interest in being in a physical relationship. Some interest, I guess, but it hasn't been that important to me in the past, especially not right at the beginning of a relationship. Rather than all that, it's more interesting to be with someone I can have discussions with about, like, who the best girl is from the anime series. If that was all I wanted in a relationship, I would just spend more time with my sister. No! Yeah, but you never want to talk about best girl, yeah? Exactly. It's not like I want someone with a lot of experience, but dating someone that at least knows what they're doing in a relationship is something I kind of need. I have so many hours of gameplay experience, though. The real world isn't a game, Lion. I'm not just some generic character, and you can't just select predetermined responses in order to increase my affinity meter. I can't! Of course, that's not how things work, Lion. That mean Dato might be a TV show, but the romance here is as real as it gets, obviously. In the real world, you gotta get to know someone, find out their biggest hopes and desires, their darkest secrets, you know, dating stuff. Oh. And speak of darkest secrets, that's why we're moving on to our next segment. Speed Dato! Or at least we will be after the short commercial break. Hexflix, see what's next. Watch anywhere, cancel never. Only $3.99 plus one soul debt. Game of Bones, the final season only on Hexflix. We're back. We are watching Demi Dato. It's time for the Speed Dato round. Talk fast. What? What? This is a part of the show that tests just how well Lion was paying attention to our contestants throughout the show and the general knowledge to boot. We'll be seeing just how much they learned about their future lover by asking a series of questions. Some of these are easy, some not so much, and you can play along at home. Now, Lion, we're on a tight schedule here, so don't take too long to answer. If you need to think about the answer, then really, let's be honest here, you don't know it at all. School flashbacks are getting real strong here. There will also be some trivia that is kind of tangentially related to our contestants. No guarantee you'll actually know the answers to those ones. Uh, have fun and don't make a fool of yourself. I'm gonna make a fool of myself. I am going to save because, like, screw that. I don't want to lose Finn. Now, without further ado, it's time for Speed Dato Foxy Lady Edition. Foxy Lady Edition? Why is it called that? Elfin is a Katsune, which means he's a fox spirit. And Mako here is, of course, a lovely young lady. Aw, thanks, guys. Yeah. Don't thank me. I was told to say that by our producers. Oh. Moving on. 
Try your best to answer these questions. Your time starts now. First, some questions about Mako. Who is Mako's twin sibling? It is Tomoe. Correct. Following that, which is the older twin? Uh, it's Mako. Correct. What does OTP stand for? Uh, what's that? <laughs> it is one true pairing. Correct. What color is Mako's co- <sighs> How was I supposed to know, Tabby? No! What is Mako's favorite word? Uh, anime, manga, cosplay, yeah. Yeah, that's so fair. I love all those words. You can't make me pick a favorite. Okay, then we'll just call that one moot. Next question. Which of these creatures has Mako not yet dated? Uh, she's dated Vampire uh, Incubus. Correct. I've never been on a date with an Incubus before, Nia. Need me to show you what you're missing? Arian is an Incubus! And I missed out on an Incubus! Yeah, it's too late in the game for you to make a move on another contestant, Arian. Are you sure about that? Yes, actually. Moving on, what color are Mako's eyes? Her eyes? Ah, yellow and green and red. No, I wasn't paying attention. What's our gift with Mako like? Uh, plushy? I would like all of them, please, yeah? That's not really helpful for a quiz, Mako. Oh, it's green and yellow. Frick me. Can I have a plushie? Sure, Tomoe. I'll give it to you, yeah? Next question. Will Mako make a better host than Geist? Uh, she will be the catchiest host. The, uh, she will be the catchiest uh, host the show has ever had. Who wrote this question? I feel like I should be offended. But if it gets me out of this contract, then I'm all for it. What do you say, Mako? Want to have your face on TV for all of eternity? Eternity sounds pretty permanent, yeah? Yeah, it sure does. And now for a set of questions about your other eligible monster, Finn! In Japanese folklore, Kitsune are known for what? Uh, well, uh, all the above, I think all of the above, like playing pranks is definitely there, being highly intelligent is definitely there, being loving and faithful partners, I think so, all of the above. Correct! Highly intelligent? Loving and faithful? Oi! Uh, why do you both sound so surprised? Yeah, anyway. Lion, which deity are Kitsune associated with? Uh, oh, oh no, oh, I completely forgot about my Japanese folklore! Uh, oh god, 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 it's uh, Inari? Oh, yes! Correct. What can a number of tales uh, a Kitsune has tell you about them? Uh, their age, how powerful they are, their intelligence, how fluffy their ears will be, how powerful they are. They're all pretty much true. Including how fluffy you are? Growing on a tail before reaching 100 years old is very rare for us, but that isn't to say it's impossible. If you're extremely powerful or wise, you might even gain extra tails before turning 80. Well, Finn, you've only got one tail. What does that say about you? Can we go to the next question? Farewell. What stresses Finn out the most? Bright flashing lights, uh, loud sound noises, being alone in the dark, the thought of drowning. Oh, uh, oh, Fox, Fox, I died, oh God, I don't know, I don't remember, Frick, uh, being alone in the dark? No, wait, 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 what, what's the right answer? Hey, I just get headaches when I see too many flashing lights, all right? That's all there is to it. Our lighting crew will not stop complaining about having to be careful with the spotlight around him. I imagine that's hard to do while making sure he's still visible. I don't remember this being part of the game! What does Finn do for a living? Uh, Professional dancer. Correct! Those other things are all just hobbies. Even modeling? Uh, forget I said anything. Following from my last question, what type of dancing does Finn specialize in? I don't remember- This wasn't in the- He never mentioned any of this! How was I supposed to know? Frick! Hip-hop? No! Wait! Is it breakdancing? Correct! Yes! The correct answer is, in fact, breakdancing. Our sources tell us that Finn took lessons in all the aforementioned styles of dance, but breakdancing is his specialty. 
You took last hits in pole dancing? Hey, it's great for building your core body strength. What kind of relationship is Finn looking for? Uh, passionate with long steamy nights, something serious, looking for the one, the last one. Correct! What is Finn's real name? What? Fennec? What? None of these are my real name. I think all of them sound better than Fennec. Ugh. At least you know what my real name actually is. What is Tabitha's nickname for Finn? Uh, Finnicky. Correct. Ooh, I like the sound of persnickety. Perhaps I should call you that from now on. Hell no. Looks like Finnicky is finicky about his Nicky namey. Oh, brother. And lastly, what is Guy's favorite movie of all time? Uh, what? How was I supposed to know? The ghoul father? Why is this one of the questions? Did the interns put this in? So was I right? I've been hosting a show for many years, kid, and according to my contract, I'll be hosting until the day I... Well, anyway, I don't have time to watch movies. And that's the end of Speed Dato. Well done, kiddo. Whew. What's up with some of these questions? Blame the interns, kid. We get what we pay for. Look at your answers. That's not a bad score from you, line. Not perfect, but you'll do for our eligible monsters, I'm sure. I wasn't coming here to impress you, guys. Looking for- I did come here! Like, honestly, if there's a route where I could actually, like, romance guys, I would definitely go for that. Is there a route for that? Now that we've had a ride in the fast lane, why don't we slow things down a bit? After this quick word from my sponsors, we'll cruise right along through to our next segment, Honesty Hour. Okay, C. Demi-human, demisexual. No matter who you are, it's a demi-date at okcryptid.com. Welcome back to Demi Dato, where it's time for Honesty Hour. Honesty Hour? Is this like a lie detector test or something? No, no, of course not. Lie detectors don't work on the dead after all. I'm not dead. You're dead. Good point. Anyway, this is the part where all of our contestants must be honest about their true nature and spill the beans on their worst relationship flaws. Is this like the part in all those dating apps where people write my biggest flaws is that I care too much? Exactly. Mine's that I'm a perfectionist. Now, Lion, why don't you explain to us why you're single? I'm not great at interacting with people because other people can't see my true worth. Yeah, I've been very busy by hobbies. I'm not great at interacting with people. I wasn't very good with social interactions growing up. I didn't know how to make friends, so I watched a lot of anime and played a lot of dating games. It was easier for me to make friends and find partners in video games. But now I'm a bit more confident and I know how to hold a conversation with someone. Would you say your otaku lifestyle had a positive or negative impact on your social life? Definitely a positive impact. Like I said, it was easier for me to make friends in the games I played. I just applied what I learned from playing dating sims to reality, like being, like making sure to remember personal information that the character says, or being careful not to trigger red flags. I guess you really can apply game mechanics to the real world. I totally understand what you mean, yeah? Sometimes when I'm talking to people, you can see a little menu box with different options of what I could say, Nia. I've gotten really good at choosing the right answers and getting good routes in life. Right? My only problem is that there's no save or load button in reality. I miss rollback. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny! Wouldn't it be great if we had a walkthrough and cheat codes as well, Nia? If only there was an exit game button for me as well. <laughs> For guys, please, for the love of God, is there a route where I can romance guys? Doc. Sounds like you've grown to be a mature adult anyway, Line. You're making me sound old and oh, a lot older than I should be. If you're old, then what does that make me? Uh, dead? Touche. Let's move on and see if any of our contestants are as aware of their flaws as you are. If our remaining two monsters could come up to the stage, please. Who wants to start us off? Well, this is the first. Aku doesn't want to take up the spotlight for once. What? Can I got your tongue? Mia, yeah, no, Finn. I was just thinking about how I shouldn't try to make everything about me all the time, Nia. Since Tomoe is the quiet type. Since Tomoe is the quiet type, I always end up doing all the talking when we're together. It's become part of my nature to try and fill the silence. But that's not to say I'm forcing myself to talk, Nia. I actually enjoy talking to people and sharing stories. Ah. <sighs> I guess I do stand the spotlight more than I should, yeah. So, you're a chatterbox. 
Yeah, but I'm also a good listener, nya. And humble, too. I'm attentive, caring, unbiased, nurturing. If you ever need someone to talk to or a shoulder to cry on, I'm your gal, nya. The first real gift for soaking up tears, nya. That's really sweet of you. So far and dirty, but this is honesty hour. The segment where we learn about your faults and red flags, not what makes you a keeper. You can add fails to answer answers correctly uh, to her list of flaws. Finn, yeah. What about you, Finn? I'm sure you have one or two, or perhaps even a few hundred things you can mention about yourself. What are you trying to say, old fart? You should start his list with fails to answer the question, yeah? Uh, what was that, you little? Now, now, you two, as much as the producers love a little bit of drama to boost our ratings, let's try to be civil, shall we? Psh. He started it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, the big bad kid today is always the one going around starting up stuff. Typical. Look, I know I may not come off as polite or whatever, but that's just the way I am. Why is that? Huh? How should I know? Why are you the way you are then? Don't mind me butting in, but... I think who you are as a person has a lot to do with everyone you interact with. Not just friends and family, but even strangers can have an impact on how you act, big or small. I think in the end, you have the ultimate say on who you are and what you want to become. Deep. I see, I think. So Finn, now it's your turn. Why do you think you treat others the way you do? I... I'm not sure. Well, why do you think you interrupt Mako when she's talking? Only because she couldn't keep her mouth shut. Yeah, that's not true. It's true. You talk a lot. You even admitted it yourself. You need to give. You need to give Lion a chance to get to know everyone else. I hardly got a word in at the start of the show because you went on and on about OTPs and boats or whatever. Finn, have you just been acting out because you wanted to pay a little more attention to you? So cute too, but uh, what? No, that's not what I'm saying. Why would you even think that? Ah, uh, I'm so sorry, Finn. Didn't know you were such a cinderinia. You got it all wrong, you idiots. Cut it out. Why don't we give Finn all the attention he wants? Get it? No, stop it. Yeah, Finn, you act so rough and tough, but you're just a big softy inside, aren't you? Hell no. Looks like we have a fox who needs to get in touch with his feelings. Oi! And a cat who can't stop talking about her feelings. I'm having so much fun, yeah? yeah I'm not paid enough to deal with this. As you can see, these two can be real, can be a real powerful. Let's be honest here. How do you think you would, um, how do you think you would, uh, handle being in a relationship with one of them, Lion? Uh, the same way I would handle someone else's pet with affection, love, petting. Same way I would handle my own child, tough love, plenty of discipline. Same way I handle everything else in my life poorly. What? Um, affection and lots of petting. Like, I, I would, none of these are my actual answer, actually. Like, I would, yes, I would be a lot, a very affectionate. But also, like, I would actually sit them down like, yo, what, what is up? I would give them all the love and attention they need. I'll, I love love, and Finn needs attention, yeah? Isn't that right? What the? No, I don't need attention. Don't speak for me. Why did you say someone else's pet and not your own lion? That's because I would be much more strict on my own pet. I treat my partner the same way I would treat someone else's pet because it means my time with them is limited. So I want to cherish the time we spend together as much as possible. Ah, yeah. I would probably let you get away with a lot too. I would make a breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and... At the end of the day, I would even wash the dishes. You could, even, you could act spoiled rotten, and I would still give you hugs if you wanted me to. So you'd spoil me, regardless of how I treated you? Yeah, I'd like, Frick, have you, have you not seen, like, the trail of exes I've left behind? I've done not just exes, like, in terms of, like, fictional, like, lovers I've left behind. That's dumb. What? No! 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 I... I can't. I can't. I need Finn in my life. Frick. Okay, the same way I will handle my own child. Tough love and plenty of discipline. I wouldn't let them walk all over me and always get their way. What do you mean, yeah? 
Well, all three of us just admitted that we each have our own flaws. If we were dating, I would want us to become better people together and fix those flaws. Huh. You want to become better people? How are we going to do that exactly? First of all, we should communicate often and be completely honest with one another. And if there's something that the other doesn't like, we should be open to changing that part of ourselves and help each other along the way. You want us to change ourselves, Nya? Not entirely, just the parts that don't work for us as a team. I don't like the sound of that, Nya. I shouldn't have to change myself to fit your ideals. I didn't mean for it to sound like that. And all the lights are except for yours, Finn. Wait, what? When did that happen? Why are you surprised? I'm actually relieved that all the lights are out. In more ways than one. Can we get a spotlight over here to set the mood? D no! Hey, knock it off. You know he doesn't like it. Lion is blocking the beam from actually hitting him. What a knight in shining, uh, spotlight. It's not like I needed your help or anything. But thanks, Lion. Well, since all the other lights are out, you both know what this means, right? Yeah, it means Lion and I are gonna go out and have some fun, aren't we, Lion? Define fun. Ah, <sighs> don't make me say it. Hey, it's my first time on the show. I don't know what happens at the very end. I was expecting fireworks to go off or for guys to start doing cartwheels or something. Jeez, all right. You, me, dance floor. I want to show you my sick moves. Yeah, I've got a few of my own to show you, actually. Great. And afterwards, how about you and I go back to my place? Oh, that fast! And keep it clean while we're on air, please. Don't cook you a nice meal. I'm thinking steamed rice and chicken karage and a light salad on the side. Maybe some miso soup as well. You gotta make sure you eat a decent meal after a good workout. And afterwards, we can sit back and watch a flick. I have a few movies I wouldn't mind watching with you. Dancing dinner and a movie. Your planned date actually sounds pretty wholesome. What were you expecting? Not sure, but I'm certainly not disappointed. It sounds like fun. You're cute, Finn. Who the heck are you calling cute, huh? Idiot. Well, um, that's all the time we have for, folks. Let's leave these two young lovers here for tonight. Remember to tune in again next week, or um, is it next week, tomorrow? How often do we air? Whatever, just keep watching the channel. I'm over this, I need a break. Someone else make the farewell speech. Thank you, Demi Dato, and see you next time. Make sure you tune in next week or whatever. God. Oh. Anyway, that was Demi Dato. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to play this for yourself, link to game will be in the description below. And again, this is also part of like this year's like queer Halloween stories bundle. So if you guys want to get this game alongside with over a hundred amazing games, books, and audio dramas, again, link to that is right below the link to the game. Honestly, like I am so glad I had the chance to actually play this game. It is so fun. It was so freaking wholesome. And I hope you guys had fun too. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lion, signing off. Ciao.